So, today we will demonstrate uh, the experiment uh, for measuring the joules constant, joule equivalent constant. You know this uh, the joules constant or joules equivalent constant it is basically a relation between the between the work and and uh, heat ok. So, if we if we perform any work and if that work converted to the uh, to the uh, energy. So, the ratio ratio of the work and the that heat. So, this ratio is called is equal to constant and that constant is we write j and j is the is the joules constant ok. So, it is basically mechanical equivalent constant j is the mechanical equivalent constant. So, if work done this if it is mechanical work and due to this work if 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 uh, heat is produced ok equivalent heat is produced then this how much heat will be produced for this mechanical work. So, if you take this ratio this always constant this always constant. So, that is why it is a uh, it is a constant and that constant is called joules uh, constant. So, here basically it tells that heat is a form of energy and it is not a material substance ok. Always the same amount of work is to be done for performing a given amount uh, heat and vice versa ok. J, J this value is basically 4.2 joule per calorie means to produce 1 calorie heat 4.2 joule amount of work is required ok. So, 1 calorie heat means say to heat 1 gram water for increasing 1 degree centigrade temperature. So, that is the 1 calorie. So, if we uh, you can produce 1 calorie 1 calorie uh, 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 heat uh, if for that you have to perform work mechanical work that is 4.2 joule ok. So, uh, here in this lab we will we'll perform experiment just uh, we will use electrical electrical work done electrical energy will use uh, not mechanical, but example of mechanical work is, is very common uh, like waterfall if you have seen waterfall ok water is falling from from mountain to the to the to the ground. So, it is basically this uh, uh, work done against the gravitation right. So, that energy will be released uh, and it will be converted to the heat. So, it is expected that water falling uh, down that that that's temperature will be different from the water at the top of the mountain. Also mechanically if you are studying the mercury, so we can see the change of temperature of the mercury. So, that means you are studying the mercury, so you are doing mechanical work and that mechanical work is converted to the heat. So, because of that heat this temperature will change and rubbing of two, two iron ring together. So, if you uh, rub two rings together then you, you have seen that there will be or any for uh, any uh, uh, rubbing things between two, two, two items. So, uh, heat generates ok. So, that heat generates because of the mechanical work because you are doing when you are rubbing. So, you are doing some mechanical work and that work is converted into uh, heat 
and because of that heat this temperature changes right so as i told in our laboratory we will do we will use basically electrical work and that will be converted into heat so what what does it mean this electrical work so if charge flows if charge uh, moves in a in a potential then then work done is is basically qv right qv qv is uh, uh, is the work done right so that means if current flows between the potential difference then the work done will be then the work done will be itv v is potential difference voltage and uh, i t is basically q i into t time not temperature i t this is the time ok. So, of course, this if it is this work then power is w by t w by t ok equal to i v anyway. So, we are interested about this work. So, now this w electrical work equal to i v t. So, that I can write V equal to I R ok. So, if this current passes through a resistance under a potential difference is V. So, that resistance then I R will be the potential difference is V. So, this will be I square R T or also you can convert this I R equal to V. So, this you can write also V square by R T ok. So, work uh, make electrical work. So, that you can write I V T or I square R T or V square by R T. V square by R T T is the time. Now, uh, now for this work if you just convert this work into into heat. So, then uh, how we can convert it? So, now this current we are passing through a heater you know heater in heater what we do just there is a coil it has resistance R. Now, we pass current through this coil and the potential difference uh, in the coil to ends is say V. So, then it will so we are we are we are so that uh, basically uh, that heater now we, we have seen this uh, we use this heater for heating substance say water right. That means current when current will flow through this resistance heater coil. So, uh, it produce heat right it produce equivalent heat. Now, if I put this heater in a water this is the basically calorimeter if I put this heat in water and uh, then water will uh, we can see this water we can uh, we can uh, um, we can see that this temperature of the water will increase right. That means, this uh, 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 this uh, work done that is converted to heat and because of this heat that heat absorbed by the water and that uh, because of this heat we will see the change of temperature. Now, basically to catch this heat to catch this work done and it is uh, converting uh, converting to the heat using the using the heater coil basically uh, in form of coil. Uh, uh, so, uh, so, this coil if we put in a calorimeter in a calorimeter. So, then calorimeter is basically definition of calorimeter is it, it has a container and in that container there is a starter and there is the arrangement for measuring the temperature and uh, and 
there should not be any any thermal conduction with the environment so uh, thermal protection yeah, arrangement is there right so that's the calorimeter so we'll use calorimeter so in calorimeter uh, as i told uh, there will be water in a container with stirrer so so you know this heat that is mst right or mct m is mass c is specific heat and t is the temperature right so here i have written so mass is for water mw and this cw is the specific heat of water plus mass of calorimeter calorimeter is basically as i told container and stirrer together is made of some jelly in copper so specific heat of that material this copper c uh, calorimeter so then we have to note down the temperature difference initial temperature and final temperature so this increase of temperature or decrease of temperature whatever so tf minus ti so this will be m s t m c t so that's the that's the uh, uh, heat h and this temperature difference will be is 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 because is after time t second so what we are doing so we'll pass current i under the potential difference v for time t before starting this time what was the temperature of the calorimeter or water in the calorimeter so that is ti and after time t that temperature is tf final temperature okay and i have to take mass of of of, of calorimeter and and mass of water okay then i will get h and i will get w okay so experiment will perform that uh will vary will vary so will vary the uh, uh yeah will vary the work done and corresponding we note down the corresponding uh, corresponding heat okay so how we can vary so this work done so if i take this form so that depends on your arrangement either you are measuring the only voltage or only uh, current so depending on the arrangement in our arrangement so we will measure uh, i v and t okay so we will take this form i v t so either we will vary i or v or both or time t okay so this for 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 4 5 6 value of this of this uh, ivt or one of them okay so that means we will get 4 5 6 work done and corresponding heat just noting down the temperature difference okay for a time t so uh, we will get the corresponding heat okay so we will plot w work done versus the heat h okay and now uh from this slope now that uh, you have seen this w by h is w by h is w by h is j right so we are plotting here w versus h now the slope we'll find out the slope of this curve of the straight line basically the slope will give directly the j value so as i told j value is 4.2 calorie uh, joule per calorie so here we we are expecting this uh, uh, experimental value close to that so that's what we'll find out okay so let us see our experimental setup so uh, this is the experimental setup very simple setup so what we have to do first let us see there is uh, uh, where we will pass current so 
here you can see this is the calorimeter, this is the calorimeter, this container, right, is made of copper, this container beaker, okay, and, and we have starer, here you can see we have starer, we have starer, this one is starer, okay, because we will just start the water, so this is the starer, okay. And this is the thermometer, so for measuring the temperature, for measuring the temperature, and you can see this the, this one coil, it's coil, it's like heater coil, right. So we'll pass current through this, through this coil, okay. So we'll measure, we'll measure the, we'll measure the, uh, what is this, this is the multimeter this is the multimeter, so we will measure the voltage, this is, so we will use as a voltmeter this one in voltmeter mode, so we will measure the voltage across this, across this uh, coil, across this coil and we will pass current, this is the constant current source, this is the constant current source, so we will pass current through this, through this coil, right. So, we will pass current through this coil, I can vary current here and corresponding voltage drop across this resistance R. So, that will note down from here. So, current will note down from here and voltage will note down from here, right. Now, uh, this, so here we will take water, here we will take water. So, before taking water, I have to take weight of this, of this, uh, of this calorimeter, this we tell uh, together calorimeter, but this beaker, this beaker and the starer, okay. So, we have to take weight of this one. I think I have to keep properly, anyway I will hold it. So, for, so this is the balance, digital balance and it has point 0.1 is accuracy is point one gram, okay, you have to note down because for calculating the uh, error you need. So, this least count of this, of this uh, digital balance is 0 0.1 gram, okay. So, I have to just take weight of this one. So, this is 44.7, right, this 44.7 that you have to note down. So, weight mass of the, of the calorimeter mass of the calorimeter is 44.7 gram, right. Now, what I will do, I will just take water, I will take water. So, I have to, I think, yes, I will take water. Yes, I have to take water in such a way that uh, this coil should be inside the water, okay. So, now I have to take weight of this one, I have to take weight of this one. So, this weight is 141.7 gram, right. So, empty, empty this, this one was, so now I can find out the uh, mass of the water. So, this reading minus 47 point something, uh, so that minus that one, so that will be the mass of water. So, now I know the mass of water as well as the mass of the uh, calorimeter, beaker and the starter together, okay. Specific heat, specific heat of water is one, one calorie per gram per degree centigrade and this is the made of copper, copper is generally 0 point, uh, 0 point, uh, yeah, 1 you can approximately you can take 1 uh, calorie per gram per degree centigrade, okay. Uh, actual really, uh, I think this is 0 point 0 0.093 calorie per gram per uh, degree centigrade, so that is for copper. So, uh, so, I know the mass of water as well as mass of the copper calorimeter, okay. 
Now I have to insert it. I have to insert it. Okay. So let me, I think I have to put it first. I have to put it first. Yes. I have to just put it. Yes. So we have to be we have to be careful. We have to be careful. I think this from top I should insert it. Okay. That's the problem. Oh. In laboratory, always we have to work carefully because this type of things will happen all the time. So let me cord is, is not very tight. Anyway, now it looks fine. Looks fine. So So I put starters inside so that from outside I can I can just start the water. So now I will put so this coil should not touch coil should not touch the this body of the calorie meter. So I think yes I'll put it. Let's say okay. So looks fine, looks fine. So just I will check it whether it's uh, where is this whether any short in resistance I'll go yeah race zero fine. So is kilo not zero resistance should not be zero there should be some resistance. It's a uh, ohm. Okay, okay. It is showing resistance two point two point two two point two ohm. So that means is our coil is not touching the body. Okay. Then what I will do? So this I will put. You see, this is the thermally thermal insulator. I'll put inside of it. Okay. So. I have to take reading from the S. Yes. yes, I put it. Okay. So I will be able to start it. I will do I will be able to start it. And this is connection is fine. This is showing 2.1 uh, ohm resistance of this coil. Okay. Now I have to note down the temperature. Temperature I can see is, is 20 degree centigrade. Okay. So initial temperature is 20 degree centigrade. I know the mass of water, mass of this calorie meter with starter. Okay. Now uh, I, I will pass current through it. Okay. And current the reading I will get from here. And Voltage across this across this coil, I will note down from here. So I will go back to the go back to the voltage mode. Okay. So it's I kept it two volt. Let's see. So two or 20, 20 volt range. I will keep it. Okay. So so uh, this uh, then I will note down this voltage. Okay. And I have to, I will put some current and immediately I have to start my watch, okay. Because current will pass through uh, this, this coil I, this voltage V and this time for how long we are allowing current through this coil. So that I have to note down, so that will be I V T, okay. So in this experiment, generally what we'll do, I have to I have to vary IVT means W, okay. So 
will keep this current fixed and will vary this time, will vary the time. Okay. So, each time we will change the water, each time we will change the water, again we will start this from, from this initial temperature or close to this temperature what now we have seen 20 degree centigrade. Okay. Or you can take other temperature, different temperature also. So, but I will just show one experiment and you have to continue you have to continue this experiment, you have to repeat this experiment for different time, okay. at least for uh, uh, five, 5 times, 5 different time, keeping this current constant and voltage will be more or less constant. Okay. So, then basically I am varying the T, that means I V T is varying, so W is varying, so for 5 uh, 5 W I will I, I will I will uh, I will get uh, this corresponding H and then I will plot it. So, I will just show you how to take one data, one set of data and the rest uh, you have to repeat and uh, plot the graph and directly the slope of the graph will give me the uh, give me the value of J. So, let me keep watch ready. I think this watch have some problem. Okay, so sometimes it's working. Okay, fine. It's uh, is zero. This watch you can see this reading is zero. I will start and stop. Okay. So let me apply uh, current first. So, uh, switch is in here on switch I have to say. So, here current also 0, voltage also 0, temperature is 20 degree centigrade. So, now I have to I have to change the current I think here I have to change the current. So, let me keep it at say 1 1 ampere or 2 ampere really ok then otherwise I have to take longer time. So, I will keep that 2 ampere right 2 ampere I have to note down current 2 ampere I will start this my uh, so it will take time to start. Uh, this watch has some problem. Okay. I have to take another watch. Okay. So, I will start this watch time. So, this is 0, then I have started. Okay. So, I should start immediately. Okay. So, I have started uh, my watch. So, I have to note down this current 2.00 volt, 2.00 volt, right. Uh, sorry, ampere 2.00 uh, ampere and voltage is 3.35 volt, V is 3.35 volt and I have to start you know continuously. Otherwise, this heating will not be uniform and temperature will not be uniform of this. So, I have to I have to start continuously and I have to watch the change of temperature it was 20 now it is it seems 20 uh, 1 22 okay so at least i will i will take 10 degree difference let's see how much time it is taking okay so 4 degree 5 degree you can take also the depending on time how much time it is taking so because resistance is small to around 2.2 ohm. So, so this I have to, so just you have to keep watch of this one, you have to keep watch of this one, okay. So, this uh,
Okay, so reading I think you can see now this 20 is 22 around 22 time is 1 this 2 second 2 minute time is over. Yes, 2 minutes 7, 8 second, 9 second, 10 second. So, but this watch will do it. It will, it will tell me final time. So, I have to, it's uh, 23 it seems, it's 23, okay. So, it is taking time for time to, okay. So, it is uh, around 20, 24, it is around 24. So, uh, so just you take, you, if you want to take time difference more, say 25, generally uh, 3, 4, 5 degree uh, difference, uh, if you take that, so that is also good enough. So, if, uh, so now 3 minute 28 second and fractional one also. So I will stop and then final reading I will, uh, I will take from this watch. So I have to note down current is 2 ampere, voltage is 3.35 volt, it is volt and initial reading was 20, now it is 24. Now it is 24, I will stop it, okay. So now this time, this 3 minutes means 3 into 60, 180, 180 second plus 54 second, 180 plus 54, uh, that means 200, uh, 20, 200, 234 uh, point here 53, okay. So point 53, so this least count of this watch is 0 0.01 second that you have to note down. And here it is the uh, least count is, is it is two order. So, it is uh, I think uh, 10 milliampere. So, 10 milliampere this least count of this one and least count of this one also 10 millivolt. Okay. So, this you know I, you know T, uh, you know V, you know T. So, I V T equal to W, right, equal to W. So, uh, so W you know and here from uh, H you will know from here as I showed you, as I showed you. Now, let me just uh, stop it, let me just stop it. So, I have reading now. So, you know the, you know, uh, so now you know the W, you know the W, right. I, V and T, we have noted down, we have noted down, right. So, uh, W, for this W, what is H that you will, you will get here, you will get from here. So, M water, mass of water, you know and mass of calorimeter that you know you have noted down, right, you have noted down. So, as I told this, this specific heat of this, you will take 0 0.1 calorie per gram per degree centigrade. For water, it is 1 calorie per gram per degree centigrade. Mass, we have noted down, mass of water, mass of calorimeter, okay. Initial and final temperature, we have noted down. 24 final temperature, initial temperature is 20, 20. So now from here you will get H, okay. So on this, so you have to plot curve. So one point you got. Now for second point, for second point, just as I told this, uh, either you can change the water or, or you can start from here, okay. Now it stopped. Now I will again note down the temperature. And I will start just switch on it. I will just 
I will note down this temperature. It is still 20. Now it is 25. It is 25. I will note down this one. Okay. Now I will just start it. Okay. Now my I will start and I will start my stopwatch. Okay. I'll I'll start my stopwatch. Okay, so I should start immediately. So if I start, so then I will. So starting temperature was initial 25. Then I let let me wait for for temperature around uh, 30. Okay, for this I will note down time, and I kept this current and voltage same. Only I will vary the time. So uh, earlier this time was how much this. Uh, uh, three, three second, three minutes, uh, 50, 50, 50, 54, uh, 54 second. Okay. So now I will increase the time. I time now three second. It was now I will make it four second. Uh, sorry, four minutes. Okay. Then next reading for five minutes. Then next reading for six minutes. Okay. Keeping this. So, I will note down initial temperature and final temperature. Uh, then I can I can get five five sets of data and for I will plot it and from this slope I will find out the uh, J value. Okay. So, this is very simple experiment, this is very simple experiment, but one has to do very carefully and starting the watch at right time and noting down the uh, noting down the uh, temperature and you have to start it continuously. So, depending on this your skill accuracy will depend. Okay. So, uh, generally in our lab we, we get this uh, value is close to the 4.1. Okay. So, because this is slightly less than this 4.2 because it may not be perfectly uh, uh, this radiation protected, okay. So, some heat is lost, okay. So, it is not very ideal. So, that is why uh, you will lose some heat, okay. So, that is why we get this value slightly less than the actual value 4.2. But this is a very good uh, demonstration of the of this experiment how electrical work is converted into heat and also whether this mechanical energy or electrical energy, this conversion of conversion, uh, also this ratio of this of this work done and uh, and the corresponding heat, this all the time it is constant, and that's the Joule constant J, and this that's what we demonstrate here. So I'll stop here. Thank you.